So the subject of Shakti. Um, Shakti is one of the core principles of our understanding of who we are and of how this earth was created. We are unique in the world's civilizations, certainly the remaining civilizations of the world, in our appreciation that there is a divine masculine, but there is also an equally divine feminine. And we see this realized and experienced in all of our mandirs and in our iconography. The imagery of Ardha Nareshwar is something we're all familiar with. But in the 21st century in India, which is churning, what does Shakti actually mean? And what can we do to make it relevant to the challenges that India faces? So I'm going to turn first to Carolina Ji, and perhaps if you could share a few moments. I would bring your attention to the front row, where we have some of my devoted helpers, and if by any chance one of them goes like this, please note that's an indication that the time is now coming to an end, and you've got a minute or two to wrap up from where you are at the moment. Okay? So Carolina Ji, please. So, namaste to everyone who is present here. As some of you may know, I have been living in India, and during my stay in India, I have participated in many rituals where men were strictly not allowed. Some of them uh, took place during my wedding ceremony in India. There are so many women-only rituals in India where men do not participate at all, but it does not mean that they are being discriminated. Uh, many times people refer to me as Akka, sister, or Didi. It feels like uh, you are a part of a community. And I know that these are small things, but they make a difference. Uh, there are families in India where traditions like bowing down to the feet of tiny girls is a common practice. Even elderly men bow down to them. And all this is done respectfully and with a sense of devotion. There is a lot in Indian heritage and traditions that one can get inspired from. Of course, it, there is no harm in learning from others and other cultures, but also there is no harm in getting self-inspired. Also, I would like to mention that in every society there are dark elements, and India is no exception. Copying men is not empowerment. Making the same mistakes that men make is not empowerment. Doing only what men do is not empowerment. By copying men, women are restricting themselves. And wherever there is a restriction, there is no real empowerment. Whether it's uh, economy, or education, or science, or medicine, or any other field, women are very capable. But we must remember that competing with men is not empowerment. Self-realization of your own unique inner strengths and being confident in who you are is very important. And as a society, we must create an atmosphere that allows that. As a society, we must create an atmosphere that encourages that. And as a society, if we lack that atmosphere, we are going to face many problems. And I think that Indian heritage and Indian traditions must be reintroduced to those who do not fully understand them and who do not follow them properly. Women empowerment does not mean that women have to become more manly or that men have to become more, more feminine. Women are not here to replace men, and men are not here to replace women. Both are here to coexist and uh, balance each other out. And let us, let us not forget that if we want to have better sons, we also need better mothers, because better mothers are more likely to raise better sons. And that is why understanding the importance and real meaning of Shakti is so relevant in our everyday life. Thank you.